Hi, this is Kevin King from Pinehurst Websites, and today I'm going to show you a very quick cleanup for your product pictures using Adobe Photoshop Elements, and I'm going to be using the Quick Selection tool. And this makes a very fast cleanup and works really well with just about every kind of product that you want. So if you want to put it on a white background, this is the tool that you want to use. So let's go ahead and get started very quickly. I'm on a PC, and I'm just going to go to uh, my folder and right now I have it selected actually already on my iCloud photos and I shot this with my iPhone and uh, basically what I did was uh, these are the purses that we want to clean up and I'm going to just tell you how I shot them so I'm going to double click on this I have this automatically set to open by default uh, my default viewer for my pictures is Adobe Photoshop Elements 11 I'm using and uh, normally what you would do is double click on a picture and uh, then right click on it and open with or you could open uh, directly in Photoshop Elements but I just double click on this and it opens in Photoshop Elements for me. So I just create an infinity wall for this item by uh, pushing a piece of poster board up in the back so that I have mostly a white background. I could have done a little better on this side right here but it's really not going to matter when we use the quick selection tool so I'm just going to go up to the uh, quick selection tool which is the second down here uh, on your toolbar and um, just clicking right on that and you'll see that there's magic selection and a few other tools here as well but we have it on the first one which is quick selection tool so all you do is just drag it and you can see it really does a good job of just selecting just about everything right here and uh, then you just pull it across I'm going to get it onto this item right here and see what a good job it does very quickly. I use the control plus plus to make this a little bigger so I can really get in and refine the edges. So, And that again is just holding down <clears throat> the control plus plus makes the screen bigger and if you want to move the screen around use the hand tool on the upper left over here and you can just move the tool so you can see you know, if you want to, you say you got it a little too big and you want to bring this uh, down so you can really get in and do the detail. Go back to your uh, quick selection tool and just drag it across and see how what a great job that does selecting everything that you want in the picture. So it's a lot easier than trying to uh, get really use it just about any of the other tools. The Magic Extractor does a good job too, uh, which I did a video on, but this is going to do a really nice job selecting the edges that I want to uh, get on this purse. So it looks pretty good everywhere here. You just want to make sure that you don't have any items cut out like right there. And let's just get around the bottom and I'll just probably come back and fix that with the eraser after I'm done. So again, if I want to drag an item when I have it blown up, <clears throat> if I want to make this uh, smaller again, I just hit Control minus on the holding down the Control button and the minus button, and that makes it smaller. I go, always remember go back to your tool there, and you see I've got a really nice selection here. It doesn't take but a few minutes to get this cleaned up, and what I'm doing is I'm just left clicking, and I left click and then drag. If I want it to go on a line, you see this just misses that little spot right here. What I can do is use the uh, subtract. Down here are the tools that you can use with the quick selection tool. And this one I'm just going to subtract from the selection. And just by dragging this up, it subtracts. Went a little bit too far there, so I go back to the add. And I get right on my line pretty good there. Just that one little section. Now we've got a pretty good selection get rid of these two little spots. I'm just left clicking and dragging right over that area. And as I drag my cursor, it just selects the area that I want. And again, this kind of went over the area that I wanted, so I'm going to go back to the subtract from selection. And it does a pretty good job of picking it up there. And go back to the add selection and uh, just want to add this one little part right here. Looks like I got it. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. You don't have to be 100% on, but we've got a pretty good job here. And I'll just, uh, I'm going to leave this little part and I'll just erase that when I'm done. So I go to control minus, 
and that's a plus, minus, minus, so I can see the whole uh, picture there. And it looks like everything is pretty well selected, and that was pretty simple. Uh, and this, you know, has a lot of, uh, it's good for things that uh, have a lot of uh, difficult edges. Of course, the white is always difficult. White on white, it tends to bleed in, so on uh, most other tools. So this is the best tool to use. So I go to Refine Edges, and I want to uh, always make sure that I output the selection to a new layer, and it just makes it easier to work with. And um, then I want to smooth the edges. This makes it a little smoother, and just feather, just a... Uh, feather will blend it a little bit better uh, and this keeps it from being too harsh uh, harshly cut out uh, against the white background so it just smooths it in with the white background so uh, make sure that your output to selection is on a new layer and then that's going to show up over here on the right so I'm just going to click OK and that's it it's all cut out so now if we want to take the paint bucket and just hit the little spots right here uh, on the closure. Now we've got it uh, pretty much cut out the way we want it. Let's do a quick crop of this item. And I like to, you know, usually uh, crop it pretty tightly unless I want to put some text or something above it. So maybe I want to put a little text introducing these new purses. I would just uh, increase the area that's going to be cropped. So I got a little more area that I can put some text in. Now if I want this to all be white, the easiest thing to do is just go up in the right hand corner and let's just say that uh, you had it on full screen. The layers are down on the bottom of the screen here. And so I click on layers and that brings this back up. And this is the new layer right here. So when I click on this, this is create a new layer. And here's the new layer right here which is selected. So all I have to do is hit the paint bucket, drop it, and that's not paint bucketing my item, it's just paint bucketing the layer. So if I want to bring this layer uh, onto the top so we can see it, there it is. And here's my uh, white layer on the bottom so I have a nice background. And as I said, this we'll see this layer is selected now and that's going to allow me to erase this little section right here. So I can just go up and clean up that little section with the eraser. And that's pretty much it. <clears throat> if I want to put some text on the item, I could just pop some text up here and uh, say new purses from Tiramisu and I have it on white that's why it's not coming up so I just go change the color of my text let's just make it a nice gray here and put new new purses by Tiramisu And uh, then you just highlight that. <clears throat> Let's make that text a little bit bigger here. Back to text. And let's just make that a little bit larger so we can kind of see it. And uh, we can also make it larger by dragging this tool right here. Forgot to put a space in there. And that's all there is to it. So, and then you would just you want to make sure when you save the item that you uh, make sure that it is saved so that you can get the most SEO value for it. And you have a nice little uh, picture right here. Now, when you want to save this, since this might be on my blog, for instance, I want Google to know what this is. So I'm going to make sure that I uh, call it <coughs> clutch purses. Purses uh, with starfish by Tiramisu. So Google's going to know that uh, all of these will be keywords that will be searchable because they'll be in the name of the. I'm going to make it a JPEG. Uh, Google can read what's on your page, so I'll just put this on the desktop. So when I put this onto a blog post, uh, or if I was doing this as an item on a page, Google's going to be able to read clutch purses and starfish, so it will know when people search that on Google uh, that this page has been indexed for all of these key terms. And that's just a little SEO tip to help you. So if there's any questions you have on this, please feel free to contact me. I'm Kevin King at Pinehurst Websites, and you can click in the description 
there's a link below the video uh, on YouTube in the description that uh, goes uh, directly to my site, Pinehurst Websites. Uh, so if you need to contact me, please feel free. And if you enjoyed this video, please share it with others. Thank you very much.